MagFit. It's the A20 Pro. It's for your car. You don't have a recent car. You want to get your smartphone on there and play everything that's on there onto your radio through the FM signal. I'm going to open it up, show you what it looks like. Nicely packed with an instruction guide on how to use the unit. You get a nice suction cup that's protected by a film. And you're going to start to open it up by figuring out how to do so. There is a knob on the side that loosens up a gear. As you tighten down, it will lock into place. And there is another knob over here that you're going to open up that extends the arm. To the length you need and you got a gimbal make sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't swivel as much the base and cradle holder everything down below underneath make sure you look there because you get your attachment for a mount and a self-adhesive 3m sticker now this is for your air vent if you're wondering what it looks like and what it does and what this little button here it goes to number one that will tighten down, and number two, that will tighten down. Here you're going to take the unit, you're going to slide it on, but you're gonna loosen up the gimbal socket first. It locks into place like so. This way you get an idea how things work, and then we could go to the car and show you it's actually how this will be displayed. On the back of the unit, it looks like a breathing area. And there's a little area that has a button that will automatically open your arms for a nice wide foam. Now this looks like the way it's going to go on. This is my phone. It's an iPhone 12. So it's going to fit a nice wide phone. Press it in, locks it into place, and it's not coming off. On the side is a USB-A cable. A 3.5 millimeter jack which is known as a TRS and you have to firmly press in to lock it into place on the PD charger over here is USB-C it's about 20 watts it has a USB-A which is about 2.4 amps and this plugs into your cigarette lighter and if you loosen up this particular part because it's super tight there should be a fuse. As we loosen this up, please be very careful of the amount of power you put into your unit so you don't blow anything because there is no fuse in here at all but a default fuse. Very flush into the unit is a phone and an M button. So these are two buttons to press. Keep that in mind. It is best for me to show you how this goes on without any product attached. It slides on, one or two, locks into place and holds. Take the ball, throw over, spin this nut tight. Press the button in the back to release. Adjust the angle. Place your phone in, make sure every cable's out of the way, and lock it into place. Suction cup is simply just locking it on. That's simple. And adjust it to the way you... Removing this is simply just grabbing the bottom thing and doing your best to break the sticky suction. Very difficult indeed. Once it's off, just remove. As you plug it in, you should get power on top for a station. You're going to tune your radio to 107.9. On your phone, you're going to hit A20 Pro of Bluetooth, and it's going to connect. I'm going to watch a YouTube video of mom taking care of baking stuff. A nice thick cookware. It comes with... An As you can see, I'm adjusting down my volume. Everything works fine. If I want to make a phone call, 
I hit the pause button over here and I could get into my phone to start to make calls I hit the mode button and you can see I could change my stations and so forth I hope you enjoy your car mount to play through your radio station and all it is a nice gift to give somebody on an old-fashioned type car that doesn't have the this to do just fine for your needs I hope this product may be right for you